Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Welcome to a new video. I'm joined here, subhanallah, with Abu Yazid. And Abu Yazid, um, some of you may not know, is a revert to Islam. He was a host on ABN's Jesus or Muhammad. He was a co-host of David Wood. He was heavily involved in apologetic. And now, subhanallah, he is back as a Muslim. And please take us through your journey. I was raised in a, um, a Christian home, a Christian background, but the particular um, creed of that, of that religion that I was brought up in, I did question it. If I'm to believe these things and there seems to be contradictions between these various doctrines, especially when it comes to the very nature of God, there's seemingly internal contradictions, they have to be reconciled. and so far in my life, I've come to understand these internal contradictions cannot be reconciled. Meaning, you don't understand the Trinity, you don't understand the doctrine, how it actually works, and you don't understand how these contradictions could be reconciled with each other, and you just believe it anyway, or you right. have to reject it. I chose right. to reject it. So right. I studied every, every religion, every um, particular faith that I could uh, look in it, go to a library and look, find a book about or go online and look or buy something at the bookstore. From Taoism to Buddhism to African indigenous religions to uh, whatever you can basically think of in name, every, every facet, denomination and sect of Christianity. And it finally boiled down to Islam. Uh, Abu Yazid, I'd like to move on to something you mentioned previously. Um, uh, you, in passing, you said uh, before I became a Christian. So, you, you, so let's let's take the audience through that. Um, so, you were a Muslim for how long? I was a Muslim up into uh, 2011. A decade. Almost a decade. Almost okay, so you're a Muslim for a decade, and then you became a Christian. That is correct. Please um, expand on that. Well, um, I think uh, people who leave the dean, everyone has their own story, but I think there's there's certain things that they all have in common. One is uh, the shubuhat, the doubts. You know, uh, for me, the doubt was uh, more concentrated on the issue of salvation because I began to really question about what's going to happen to me when I, uh, I leave this earth and I face the judgment. Am I going to heaven? I'm, I'm going to hell. And one of the, one of the, the chief doubts that um, Christian polemics use against Islam is, well, you guys don't have any guarantee of salvation. You know, you don't know what's going to happen. Okay, you're a great Muslim. You're a good person. Um, but... Uh, has Allah guaranteed that you're not going into the hellfire and going into uh, the into Jannah? So these are common occurrences, and they can cause doubt in the individual. Especially doubt gives way to doubt. So if there's there's a you know a small piece of doubt in the heart, I can feed that, and it can grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so that's that's one aspect of what happened to me. Okay. Um, what really interests me is uh, how you went from just being a, a conservative Christian to then being um, a host on ABN's Jesus or Muhammad. How did that happen? Well, I, I sent the email to um, ABN after I became Christian and uh, basically saying, I, I, you know, I, I've been watching uh, Jesus or Muhammad. Uh, I've been watching David Wood and Sam, Sam Shimon, and I wanted you guys to know that I've left Islam and I've become Christian. Somebody from the network passed it along to David Wood. David Wood jumped on that <laughs> immediately, and he invited me onto the show. And once he invited me onto the show, uh, I did it, and they were like, do you want to stay for another show? Do you want to stay around? Sure, I'll stay around. And me staying around turned into me becoming regular on uh Jesus Muhammad. Um, so how big of a, a deal was Jesus or Muhammad? How, how big of a success was it? I think uh, for all the things I just said, it was successful. It did what it was supposed to do. It took 
something that was strictly um, academic to a certain level where you know the average person didn't the average person didn't know what Islam was and they didn't really care in America. Um, you know, Muhammad Ali was Muslim. That's what the average person in America knew. But after 9-11, there became a hunger for people wanting to know what Islam was about. People were uh, setting up uh, debates across the nation and traveling from church to church. People, I mean, made a whole entire career of just going across the, na the nation giving lectures about jihad you know to the point uh, certain individuals even got government contracts you know get money from the government to lecture you know the fbi about jihad um and things like this so yeah people parlay that into uh, a money-making venture i mean most of these right. guys have no education whatsoever in in anything related well first of all they have no education as far as anything related to Islam, you know, but even as far as uh, Christianity, most of these guys don't have any, um, you know, degrees in religious studies or theology or, or anything like that. Um, they're basically self-taught. A lot of it is Google taught, to be honest. Mm. So, so what happened to you next? What, ha like, what happened after that? I'm talking well, about the, the show. Yeah. But as early as maybe like 2013, I really began to slow down. You know, I really wasn't interested in doing public appearances or doing a lot of debating or things like that. So that's that. two years. That's two years after you, you, you left Islam, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have the desire to be, quote, unquote, famous, you know. I didn't want to be a YouTube. I didn't. I didn't have the the desire to be a social media influencer. I, I didn't have the desire the desire to make money off of religion. So, but you were going to. I mean, that was offered to you. You were offered the opportunity uh, to be the face of the ex-Muslim community, if you call that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've said this in another interview. There, there's always. Every few, every year or two or, or three, there's always some new ex-Muslim who is the hot new ex-Muslim. Right. And, you know, I had the opportunity to be the hot new ex-Muslim, you know. And if I took that opportunity, yeah, I would have had notoriety. I would have had fame and I would have made some money. I even thought about converting to Judaism, you know, and I, I explored that. And I sat and watched a, a, a video of a rabbi, and the rabbi was talking about the Noahic laws. So, from that standpoint, from the from a Orthodox Jewish standpoint, Muslims have salvation. But guess who doesn't have salvation? Christians. Christians do not have salvation. 